one, and lift off the rise of Starliner and a new era in human spaceflight. Uh, when, the, when the spacecraft separated from the launch vehicle, um, we did not get the orbital insertion burn that we were hoping for. It uh, appears as though the mission elapsed timing system um, had an error in it. Um, and that anomaly resulted in the vehicle believing that the time was different than it actually was. And because that timing was a little bit off, um, what ended up happening is uh, the, the, the spacecraft tried to maintain a very precise uh, control that it normally wouldn't have tried to maintain. And it burned a lot of, uh, a lot of prop in that, in that part of the, uh, the flight. And when that prop got burnt, uh, it looked like we weren't going to be able to, to, to go ahead and, and rendezvous with the International Space Station. The thing to know is, of course, once the vehicle thought it was at a different time in the mission, being autonomous, a lot of this runs on a timer, it began to do burns and attitude control. The flight control team reacted in a very professional manner. They recognized and the engineers diagnosed this quickly. We began to send commands to take it over as... Administrator Bridenstine mentioned there was a, some delay in that until we could get a positive link as we went through satellites. Again, that's our hypothesis. That's why the link wasn't received, but we've got data to review there. And so the flight control team put the spacecraft in uh, safe orbit. The orbit we're in today, uh, the reason we picked it and put it there is that that allows us to return to White Sands in 48 hours. 